This morning, we're hearing from the Purdue University student selected as one of the next NASA astronaut candidates. So cool. We first told you about Laurel O'Hara yesterday, our big achievements. It was on daybreak when we covered it. We just really wanted to meet her and say, how'd you do this? O'Hara joined me via Skype from Houston, where she is right now. That's at the Johnson Space Center, of course. She'll soon be going home to her native Sugar Land for a couple months before returning to Houston for two years of astronaut training. Then she will possibly get her first assignment into space. O'Hara is one of just 12 people selected from a pool of more than 18,000 who applied to be a NASA astronaut candidate. She told me about the day she got the call. I was at work all morning, so I was just kind of sitting there refreshing my phone screen. It's like, has someone called yet? Has someone called yet? <laughs> and I went home for lunch and was just sitting there after lunch looking out the window when my phone rang and I recognized the Houston number and thought, like, my first thought was, oh my God, should I answer it? I was like, of course I should answer it. I was just stunned. <laughs> so oh. It was pretty incredible. And then I got off the phone and I called my mom and I called the rest of my family and, and uh, was just kind of in a daze the rest of the day. <laughs> What'd your mom say? <laughs> she started crying. <laughs> After getting her undergrad in aerospace engineering at the University of Kansas, O'Hare got her master's of science in aeronautics and astronautics from Purdue. She says choosing Purdue was a no-brainer. I chose Purdue mostly uh, because of its stellar reputation um, as a propulsion research center. So they have a big um, rocket test lab out there called Zucro. And um, I really wanted to work out there, so that's what made me choose Purdue. So was it the right choice? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you bet it was. O'Hara says she and members of the program at Purdue University are like family, and she says every plan, uh, she has every plan rather to stay in touch with them and continue working with the university in the years to come. She also promised to keep us in the loop. Let us know how training goes and, of course, when she gets that first mission into space.